What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. Today we have Jeff Kolya of Signal Mod, who has brought in his winning scratch build from the latest PDX Land mod contest. Well, welcome back, Jeff, to GeForce Garage. It's been, what, like six years? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, what did you bring us last time? I brought my other scratch build called Drevo. And I see you've brought in another scratch build. Does this one have a name? Yeah, this one I'm calling Root Beer Float. Nice. What inspired you to make this one? You know, I've always loved the old like Danger Den acrylic cases. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to do something that had that similar form factor, but maybe it had a little more modern touch to it. Right. I don't think a whole lot of Danger Den builds had like distro plates or anything back then, but you have a couple in this one. Yeah, there's one on the back of the case that's for the GPU loop, and then there's the bottle up front for the CPU, as well as the memory block that actually puts the flow into parallel and hits the CPU and the memory. So how do you go about making a scratch build? I mean, we have a whole series on it, but I had a lot of help creating a scratch build, so how do you start something like this? I generally take the form factor that I want the case to end up as and then map out where the main components are going to be and then try to plan like the loops and the water routing from there. So was the idea for this to always be kind of root beer themed? No, I actually always liked the old Noctua colors. So I went with kind of like a brown and cream acrylic that I could find based on that. And then once the build started to progress, it just seemed like root beer float fit the theme. Yeah, we have a soda bottle there, front and center. I know you can't just buy those, so you had to create it, right? Yeah, that's two pieces of inch and a half acrylic. Basically, on a CNC router, I milled three sides of them to create that. There's two channels in there, so you fill it at the top, and then it goes out the bottom end of the radiator and then back in through another channel before it hits the memory block in the CPU. Gotcha. And did you just like knock it out of the park? Is this the first take at making a bottle? No, I actually had one that had four ports on the side and it just didn't really work with the way that all the ports on the CPU and memory block were laid out. So I went back to the drawing board and deleted two of those. And I actually got rid of one of the channels inside of the bottle. Mm -hmm. It also prompted the little distro that sits on top of the memory that actually used a modded Monarch block from EK. So I took the base plate of that and then designed a distro that splits the flow into parallel for the CPU and memory. And I noticed that you have some nice brightly colored cables. What made you choose those colors? If you think of some like old school root beer style brand, it kind of went from there and got the orange and blue. And then I just wanted something really bright that kind of contrasted to the rest of the case. Nice. And I like the, uh, the cable combs that you have on here. Thanks. Those are actually laser welded. So I learned a new technique where you just lay two pieces of acrylic together on a laser cutter. Mm -hmm. And then when you cut it, it actually welds them. So I got the two-tone look and there's no glue or anything. So there's no glue holding those together at all. It's just... Nope. Wow. I also noticed that you have a very nice looking screen down on the bottom. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of builds are coming out with stats displays and I wanted to kind of incorporate that into this build. So that's just like a generic touch screen I got off of Amazon, but I found these FPV ribbon cables that are using drones and that's what's pulling the signal from the motherboard IO. All the stats are fed from an Aqua computer Octo, so I have various sensors in the loop and ambient. So is that just located in the bottom of the case? It is, yeah. Okay, is there any other secrets down there? There's a USB hub down there and then the connections to the screen as well as the 280 radiator for the GPU loop. Gotcha. I also noticed too that the front grill just kind of seems to be floating on the front here. Yeah, yeah. I ended up deciding to go with a magnetic mount on that and create a pocket for it to sit in so it kind of like looks flush. I actually had to get some different screws for that because the ones I use on the rest of the case are not magnetic. So, so what's the actual hardware that's inside of here? So I started with the ITX MSI Z790 platform, which has a 13700K plugged into it, as well as 32 gigs uh, G-scale RAM, and then also a 980 Pro one terabyte M.2 SSD. And then of course I got the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti GPU. And what about the water cooling? So anything that I didn't put together myself is EK. And then everything's powered by the SFX 850 by Corsair, and then all the cables I made myself. Thanks, Jeff, for coming by. Hopefully, we get to see you again sooner than six years. If you guys enjoyed this episode and would like to see more, hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you for the next one.